In this video, we'll talk about how you can print reports uh, in Alpha Anywhere that contain uh, HTML data. So you can see that uh, we have a SQL table here called HTML on report and it's a, um, a simple table that just has three fields but in the memo field we actually have uh, HTML markup so you can see that it's got um, some bold text over there and then a span that sets this to be red and then uh, some plain text over here so the table is a trivial table that only has um, one record in it so let's go now to the uh, report writer and see what happens when we place that field called memo uh, on the report so we go ahead now and we print and you can see that the report writer is printing out the text in the field uh, verbatim it's not treating it as HTML so um, in some cases of course this might be what you want but in other cases you want the uh, text in the field uh, to be treated as HTML so let's go now and see how we can uh, modify the report to treat this as HTML and there are two different techniques that you can use so first let's go back to the report design uh, here and uh, delete this field now so now we've deleted the memo field and then we're going to go to the uh, report toolbox over here and uh, select the HTML, the static HTML controls. We're going to put an HTML object over here and we'll make it uh, nice and big and uh, then also let's uh, move it so that it's um, nicely aligned over there and then we'll open up the uh, editor. I'll switch to WYSIWYG mode and then I'll go to fields and I'll place the memo field, I'll drag it uh, into the HTML, uh, the static HTML there. So now we have a static HTML control and uh, uh, it contains uh, a single field placeholder for the memo field. We could actually place other field placeholders in here and uh, then um, uh, let's go ahead now and uh, print it and we'll see that it's almost working but not quite so we'll go ahead now and print and we can see that it's, it is printing in bold but we're not seeing everything that we want and the reason that we're not seeing everything that we want is we haven't gone to the uh, property sheet here and said that it's growable so now we'll go back to our preview now and now we can see that the, the text in this uh, memo field is being treated as HTML and it's printing out as, as HTML so the one technique uh, to print HTML content on a report is to put the field inside a static HTML uh, control. So let's go now and look at another option. So I'm going to go back now and uh, create a brand new report. So we'll go here and say new uh, SQL report and um, I'm going to choose an ad hoc data source and I'll choose the data source uh, for our sample table. Um, which is this one over there and then I'm going to choose uh, all of the fields uh, HTML on report but then I'm going to go to um, advanced options and then override field definitions and I'm going to say that this memo field should be treated as HTML so now I've gone there and just said HTML so now um, when the report prints out this field it's going to know in advance that this is um, HTML content so we'll go here now and uh, from the report editor I'll just go and drag my three fields on so here are my three fields then go to this memo field make it a little bit bigger and then go ahead now and do my preview and you can see that it's automatically um, treated as HTML because we uh, specified the um, the field override so in this video we've shown how you can uh, print out uh, HTML content in your report by either putting the uh, field in a static HTML control or by overriding the field type uh, when you define the query for the report thanks very much for watching